What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to RGH Tech TV. This is Xiaomi's Redmi 3S Prime and in this video I'm going to let you know some of the tips and tricks, some of the features, things which have changed and things which I have noticed after updating it to MIUI 8. So make sure to watch this video till then so that you don't miss on any important points. Now straight away the first thing you'll notice is the notification tray uh, and the quick toggles have changed so they are now in combined style earlier they were separated so you can also change to the previous uh, version if you would like to have that so for that you'll have to go to settings uh, you'll have to go to notification and status bar and select the first option that is notifications and toggles layout so in this if you select separate so you'll have the earlier version so as you can see you'll have notification uh, tray on one side and quick toggles on the other side and uh, I would like to keep it to uh, the combined style. So this actually mimics that uh, Samsung's touch with UI. So it's a pretty good implementation. And the next thing which they have changed, which I have noticed is uh, they have added a button on the top right corner in the multitasking tray. So which allows you to switch between uh, uh, larger and the small icons, as you can see. So earlier we had to uh, pinch out and uh, pinch in to get to smaller or the bigger icons. Now it's a step easier, you can just click on the button on the top right corner and you can switch to uh, smaller or bigger icons. And uh, next thing which they have changed is the calculator application. So let's quickly go on to the calculator. And uh, this is just not a calculator now. So you have an icon on the top left corner. So click on that and it will allow you to go between calculator, you know, scientific calculator. You can also calculate length, area, volume, temperature, speed, uh, time, mass and most importantly the very productive feature is also you can calculate currency. So it actually takes real-time data from uh, uh, hexen.com so and it's also updated as you can see it's 30th November 2016 and uh, let's, so let's check like uh, one dollar is equal to 68.6091 so that's pretty much accurate. So in this way you can uh, you know increase your productivity by switching onto this calculator. Now the next thing which I have noticed and which has been changed is the settings panel. So as you can see, it's pretty much clean and neat now. So you do have single colored icons. So earlier they were like colorful icons and uh, now it's single colored so it looks pretty neat. And on the top you have search bar as well. So you can search for anything under settings. So quickly I'm gonna let you know about dual apps. So let's search dual apps. So as you can see, it'll just pop out that information. So click on that and you're onto that setting. So otherwise also dual apps can be found uh, under the settings panel itself. So you'll have to go to a uh, button and you can find the dual apps. So here, this actually allows you to have multiple copies or you can clone the applications. Uh, so actually you can have two WhatsApp accounts, two Facebook accounts, or any other third party application which you have installed on your phone. So I've actually cloned the chess application. So I'll just let you know a live demonstration of that one. So in this, uh, I have logged in with my account and uh, the one which has been cloned uh, does not have an account. So that means I can log in with a second account. So that's a pretty neat feature. So it actually adds convenience uh, to this device. Now there is another thing called a second space which allows actually allows you to have two accounts on the uh, you know uh, same uh, device itself so by using this you can protect uh, your private data like pictures uh, photos documents in another space so which will be guided by a password as well so for uh, to move into that second space you have the second space so from here you can go to second space as you can see it says go to second space or you'll have uh, something called as uh, switch to second space. You'll have the switch icon. So if you click on this, uh, you'll be uh, switching to second space. And uh, as you can see, we are on to different uh, uh, home screen now. So it's a different thing. So you, it also gives you an option to set up the password so you can do that as well. So if you don't want this, you can again switch back to uh, the first space. So, uh, so let me just authenticate this one. So as you can see, it's switching to uh, space one. Alright guys, now another thing which they have added is a uh, long screenshot. So if you have some vertical content and which you want to capture in one single screenshot, you can do that. So for that you'll have to press the power button and the volume down button and by this it will capture the screenshot 
as you can see you'll have an icon on the top so click on that and uh, you'll have an option to scroll so click on this and uh, it will start uh, it will auto scroll the content and uh, whenever you feel it's done please hit the done or it will stop by itself once the content is over so uh, as you can see it processed it and uh, we have uh, the image itself. So in this way, what you can do is you can have uh, the vertical content in one single screenshot itself. So it's a very productive application or a feature and I'm very much liking this uh, feature on this device. And the next convenient thing uh, with this device is having lock screen shortcuts. So this is also mimicking a uh, Samsung feature. As you can see, you have the camera icon on the right bottom corner. You can also have another application on the left bottom corner. So I'll, I'm gonna quickly let you know how to do that. For that, you'll have to go to settings. Uh, you'll have to go to uh, lock screen and password. And here, uh, you'll have to go to lock screen shortcuts. So click on this and uh, as you can see, I've not added any application on the left side. So you can quickly move on uh, to the install applications or the system applications. So if you feel that uh, you'll have to have a, a you know, a settings panel, so definitely you can do that. So if you now go to lock screen, you can find two icons. So one is settings and one is a camera. So once you swipe from left to right and enter the password or the pattern, you'll quickly jump into the settings panel. So in this way, by using this feature, you can save some time. Now they've also added some convenience in selecting the wallpaper. So as you can see, you can select different wallpaper for lock screen. And at the same time, you can also select different wallpaper uh, for the home screen from uh, wallpaper uh, settings itself and uh, finally I want to let you know one more thing which I had actually missed on my original video that is 40 plus tips and tricks I'm going to link that video at the end of this video and in the description box below so if you haven't seen that please definitely go ahead and see that now you can find that animations you can enable the animations under battery settings so uh, there is no guarantee that you'll have some good battery life so definitely it does take a little bit hit by uh, enabling the animations but you can try out this feature so you under battery settings you can see that system animations uh, here you can enable this uh, show system animations and once you enable this uh, it will give you some nice animations across the ui so i believe i have covered most of the things so that's it guys if you feel this video was informative give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family follow us on twitter at rgh tech tv subscribe to us on youtube most importantly thanks for watching and i'll see you real soon